and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Caitlyn Ezreal Cat. That's what we're calling the deck. It's difficult to name decks whenever you have your three different champions um, because, you know, like we don't need like the, I don't want to say Caitlyn Ezreal Cat Arena and just have a super long deck name that doesn't fit on the thumbnail and everything like that. So we're just going to go with that. Cat just gets half of a name because only having one. <laughs> but really, this is going to be a Battle Academia deck. All three of these champions have really cool Battle Academia skins, and uh, they all look really good. And all kind of match together, too. So that's going to be our deck. We got our Battle Academia deck, and it looks pretty sweet. This is kind of like... Um, I don't like Caitlyn puff caps, you know, like we're going to have, we're going to have that uh, kind of thing going on, but we're going to have Tribeam of Pribulators in here for all of these three cost cards. All of our champions cost exactly three mana. Uh, so that's, that's good. And uh, we know we're going to have different traps. So we're, you know, mostly a Caitlyn deck, lots of flash bomb traps, lots of puff caps, and then Karina's at the top end that can double up all of those. So it looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. Oh, Katarina with Caitlyn or Ezreal. Both both of them is really good. Like where you can get multiple attacks, right? Because if you you know multiple attacks with an Ezreal means you're, we're creating multiple Mystic shots or multiple attacks with Caitlyn. You know we're getting more and more Flash Bomb traps, especially if we have leveled up Caitlyn. Getting multiple strikes in with leveled up Caitlyn is incredible. So that's kind of like the thinking of the Katarina with those uh, other champions. So all right, let's get to it. This looks like a cool deck. Uh, it's meme tier day. I could definitely see this being a ranked deck. But, you know, it's just, uh, we have it here on Meme Tier Day. But this deck looks pretty good. So, looks like we're playing against Riven Quinn to start with. I want to keep Tribeam. I think I'm just going to mulligan this and keep the others. I'm just not exactly sure what we're doing with the Scorched Earth yet. But Scorched Earth can kill lots of stuff. Ooh, built over Peacemaker. And Caitlyn. I don't think I've really played Caitlyn or Katarina with these new skins. We need to play more Caitlyn and Katarina. Okay, got our first three. Sodium Umbrella! Thanks for that resub, Sodium Umbrella. Six months. You are amazing. Thank you so much. What kind of combat trick are they going to have? They're going to have, like, Whirling Death, probably something like that. Yeah, probably something like that. So I'm considering just passing. If I attack with just Stinky Wump, they just take the two and then play a Riven afterwards. You'll find it. I think I'll just pass. Oh, what's up, Puffcat Peddler? So they're definitely holding up a whole bunch of spells, a bunch of interaction. Only dealing four. No flash bomb trap. I was hoping for a flash bomb trap right there that would uh, damage for Scorched Earth. Alright, so now Tribeam's at six. Tribeam's at 7. I'm kind of expecting Whirling Death right here. But that's just how it is. Whirling Death would mean that the Caitlyn would strike at least. Okay, concerted. So not as good for me as Whirling Death, but... Still 
So we're not doing too bad. Alright, we're gonna make that eight. Nothing gets between me and my mark. Oh, really? Okay, Abominable Guardian, one of the worst eights we could get. Alright, so they have, what, five, five flash bombs? Like, they're probably drawing a flash bomb. I, like, it's probably not really even worth attacking because the flash bomb will just kill this thing. Oh, alright, never mind. Or they don't draw the flash bomb. The three are unrivaled. Yeah, that's one of the one of the very worst eight drops for sure. Maybe, yeah, maybe the very worst eight drop, just a generic five five. Wow, no flash bomb traps. It's kind of crazy. All right, I'm just gonna pass the round right now while. Y'all just save that free spell mana. Okay, so all five of these flash bombs are in the top five cards. So let's go ahead and do this first. Actually, let's go ahead and activate. I have something very special. one puff cap. Yeah, see all five of those were in the top five. I guess I traded that for the 7-1 challenger, right? I guess. Yeah, the Ranger's Resolve was clutch. For sure. Surprised they didn't use one of those to target the Errol and just get a free hit in. Alright, cool, cool. So 26 puff caps right now. We know they just have like a hand filled with pump. The rune speaking whispers. Make these pieces whole. All right, down to just four cards left. All right, hoping one of those two flash bombs are at the top and that it kills the Valor. And they really haven't drawn very many puff caps at all, considering how many we put in the deck. Really haven't been drawing any puff caps. And another plus two plus zero. Yeah, this is trouble. At long last, give chase. This is trouble. One way or another. Puts me down to two. They probably don't really have 
Nexus, direct Nexus damage, right? Fourteen puff caps? Only seven. Only seven is not good. All right, well, we are, you know, if the Caitlyn strikes this round, we win. That's the goal. But it looks like they can just rally again with Overwhelm and, yeah, and now kill us. Yeah, we just did a terrible job of having them draw puff caps. They really drew, like, no puff caps that whole time. Alright, so we got all of our bad luck out of the way. We not only hit, you know, they not only had, like, no puff caps on any of their cards, but then also, don't forget, we hit the absolute worst possible 8-drop <laughs> with our Drive Beam Improbulator. Yeah, that was just a whole bunch of bad luck. Am I keeping Ezreal? I guess so. Like, out of all the 8 drops in the whole game, couldn't get a worse one. So, Ezreal can block 1-1s. One Alright, gonna go ahead and do this immediately. Get the two flash bomb traps in there, because you never know, maybe we'll get some good luck this time, and like they'll draw a flash bomb trap immediately. Kill that thing. Nah, that's not gonna happen. It's Draven time. Don't blink or you miss me. Got axes, need victims. So I'm a little worried about Whirling Death, right? I go Caitlyn. Awesome. Now we don't have to be wor worried about Whirling Death anymore. Because then they Whirling Death, we Ravenous Flock. If they also don't have to be worried about me creating a Mystic Shot. So I guess we don't need to attack with Ezreal. We can't cast Mystic Shot anyway right now. Survival skills? This is gonna hurt for you. Yeah, I mean I guess that is gonna hurt. Man, sometimes it's not <laughs> not your day. The wheel of war turns it all away. I took out one of those. So we can draw two, see if we, you know, like maybe we hit the Draven and we don't have to flock it. Alright, we're hitting nothing. Or, you know, like we hit a Revenant and can, therefore can flock it afterwards. Time for the money makers. Let's book it. A lot of damage. Down. Lady. One shot, all skill. Well, at least that's half of our Nexus health that they won't be doing to my Nexus now. No way. So that's a positive. All right, time to plant. Let's get a five-five that can block and plant some puff cat or uh, some flash bombs. I mean.
<laughs> Still zero? We just put five on the top five and still zero. Okay, well, they're going to hit one now, right? Because they draw another one. Still zero? How is that even possible? All right, so I can... I can Karina activate, and then we know we activate five flash bombs. And then I basically would have just... Yeah, I mean, I guess that's worth it. We'd have a flock also to help. We hope that we can at least kill, like, a Draven or something, you know. Hopefully we can kill some of these things with five. Yeah, hit all six. Okay. <laughs> Jack goes, LMAO, I love this variant. <laughs> so we can refill our hand with the Insider Knowledge, but it also refills their hand. So we'll be spending mana to also ha have them gain cards. Gross. Oh, come on. Oh, man. All right, so there's five more puff caps with like the next three cards. So now, because because I didn't kill anything, now they get to kill one of my five fives with just the spinning axes. Oh, they chose not to. All right, they're keeping the spinning axes. Yeah, and then that one's gonna have like, yeah, that. <laughs> Once they don't have any units, now here comes all the flash bombs. That's gonna be the card with all the flash bombs. Okay, so we're gonna need to give them a whole bunch of mushroom clouds, and hopefully this time they actually draw them. Like, why didn't they just do that? Like, they had both those cards in their hand last round. Why didn't they just do that and kill one of these five ones? Take some mushrooms. Eat your vegetables? Eat your fungus? I don't know. Whatever a mushroom is. Okay, so there's the rest of those flash bombs. We can now Scorched Earth a Revenant. Oh, we also have pr the Professor here. <laughs> For our Academia board, we have the Professor snapping pin. Alright, GG's. Misfortune Poppy. Poppy Scouts. Looks like a good puff cap hand. I guess we'll keep it. We'd rather be on the flash bomb part of our deck against a unit based deck than the puff cap part of our deck. But I think we still just keep it. Probably the worst card in the deck to draw right there. Yep. Definitely the worst card in the deck to draw. Because you don't want to be spending mana just to have both players draw cards against an aggro deck until you have stabilized and in the very late game. So basically a game you've already won. No pray, no pay. Heard there was a little fella asking for me. Cool. Get to trade with the misfortune. We'll take that. Go get him, Sting Offices. Two good draws in a row there with the um, flash bomb part of the deck. They do not have a sharp sight. Doesn't look like. That's really nice. Man, those Sting Officers are strong. Quite strong. After Wizard! Thanks for the Tier 1 sub. Resub in here for all time. Thank you so much. Been a sub here forever. 
Let's get old Trump bump in. Yeah, we'll get old Trumpy. And they did have an additional misfortune, as predicted. Um, rough attack, not gonna lie. Must be down to six. Rough attack there. Good, no sharp sight. All right, team. Adventure time. Well, this could be better. Obviously, they have Rangers Resolve. Obviously. My shield is yours. Helps out. I think we just hold the flock just to see what happens. Okay. So 2 2 can block 3 2. Block. Um, I think we're just blocking stuff now. So block, block, block. Flock. I'm flocking the 2-1 instead of flocking the 3-1 because if they do have like a barrier type card, um, like for example, this is repost. If we do that on the 3-1, the we die to repost. Or that, we, we take 5 and still stay alive. So we got one card we don't know about. Not good at drawing those flash bombs. I can't. I can't spend mana on all, the, all these mushroom clouds first, can I? Twenty-eight cards left. Each one of these does eight. That'd be twenty-four puff caps. And then I'm, you know, out of mana. Actually, maybe I can. Just come to think of it, actually, I don't want to do this right now because then they just get to draw two units and get to play two units and go wide. I think I'd rather just be able to block, block, and just play this like during combat. That's what's up. So I want to destroy the Hurt Poppy first, and then draw two, so then these new things are drawing into the Flash Bombs. And this shows the problem with playing Get Excited instead of, you know, like a Sump Fumes or something else that we don't have to discard a card. But we'll be playing this and activating. And hoping there's nine puff caps in the top five cards. Maybe we get lucky. Oh, so close. At least we get to kill Jenny. That was convenient. All right, that'll do. All right. Got some good luck there. Got some good fortune with our flash bombs and puff caps. Two one. <laughs> You can see the doggo here is like laying like not quite on the dog bed, but like next to the dog bed, like couldn't quite make it to the dog bed. I had to had to take a nap here first. We got Draven Ezreal. This is a good peddler matchup. Getting her to get excited. Cause I don't want to discard stuff. Go get him, Stinky Wump. Oh, they're Draven Ezreal aggro. Ooh. 
in position. Surprised they're willing just to trade two damage for one damage when we're both like same regions. It's like we're a damage based deck slash region as well. Zon taught me to never let my guard down. And yet they were willing to make that trade. On foot. Never see these coming. So they they could just be it's possible they're just playing like one Ezreal, right? Like like this is a, a good champion combination to like play an aggro deck and just kind of fool your opponent's mulligans and play like one Ezreal. I don't d dislike that at all. Like that's a it's a fair strat. There was a little fella asking for me. Gotta respect the game. Let's boogie. All right, we can boogie. But we'd also like to find peace. A peaceful boogie. My pretty Raven down. Peaceful boogie. I have my orders. That's gonna eat a flash bomb. Chomp. <gasps> Flash bomb trap. Oh, if mushrooms couldn't talk. All right, GG's. Yeah, good. Good unit base. And took care of business. Three and one. Draven now dying to these Piltover Peacemakers definitely makes Piltover Peacemaker a lot better. Like, you know, we're facing a lot of these Dravens because for some reason you play against just the same region. So this is like the third time we played against the same region. And now that uh, now Piltover Peacemaker actually killing stuff has been really convenient. Katarina is our first time finding Katarina. Be a good tri-beam and probulator hand. If I've ever seen one. No, actually, let's play this peddler and just trade with peddler. Right. I don't really have a good peddler hand. Just make that trade. Here to make peace. That's all we're trying to do is just make peace. Uh, no, let's just make peace. I was gonna stun that, but then I was like, wait, no. Alright, hopefully they draw one of these flash bombs and gets rid of that so we can open attack. But then again, I kinda wanna play this Katarina. Ooh, open attack or Katarina. Alright, we're gonna play Katarina. I wanna level up this cat. That's too bad. That's too bad. This 
Going better for us. Alright, keep them from challenging so my 3 2 can block the 4 3. Trying to buff up this Improbulator. We'll hold on to the Mushroom Cloud in case we draw another Peddler or draw Get Excited to get rid of it. I was hoping for one of these flash bomb traps to just get rid of this 2 1, but. Oh, we'll do some discarding. Ooh, okay, okay. We'll do some attacking. Okay, and probably players up to 5. They're gonna have tons of cards anyway. Well, that was a worst case scenario. Sir, there was a little fella asking for me. Of course, we know that card is the 2 1. Alright, so we'll do 7 to this thing. So the rally doesn't really matter. Man, we are terrible at Tribeam and Probulator. We kind of couldn't be worse at Tribeam and Probulator. Yep, looks like we are on the elusive burn plan now. 14 puff caps. We know they drew a stinky bomb. Yeah, there's a stinky bomb. They have no flash bombs in their deck right now. I guess I could attack with Peddler. Would have dealt the same amount of damage to them if I would have attacked the peddler or not. Another one with a three and two. Time for the main event. Yeah, good removal, more card draw. Because all of our card draw also helped them draw cards, but they had just card draw that only they drew cards. That was just the difference. Keep on drawing cards, please. That's our only hope. <laughs> Keep on. They have to get super, super, super unlucky with these puff caps. Anything else? Yep, keep on drawing, keep on getting more puff caps. They have to get incredibly unlucky. Where are you at? Seven? Ooh, wait. Ah! Won't have anything to discard. Six. You suck. 
You would assume that they have enough burn to kill me from six, but you never know. That looks like it. GG's. Okay, so a three and two record. It didn't, like, they... Unfortunately, like, our, our big threats there were Caitlyn and Katarina, and they did have the, uh, re you know, removal spells. You don't get excited, Mystic Shot, that kind of stuff that took out Caitlyn and Katarina. Um, you know, we didn't have our, our top end. Our, we did have a Tri-Beam, but we hit, <laughs> you know, one of the worst sevens you can possibly hit, a three-power unit. And no Karinas. Karina would have been really nice to have, but none of those. So that's how it goes. Um, still pretty fun to play. I liked uh, Caitlyn, Ezreal, Katarina all together. What have been, we did run out of card. Like, we were running out of cards in a lot of those games. It would be kind of nice to have a little bit more card draw. Um, you know, we have these insider knowledges, but, you know, they get with giving the opponent the cards too, that helps sometimes whenever they have a lot of puff caps, but then that also hurts if they don't really have those puff caps where you're trying to refill your hand, but your opponent's hand is also getting refilled by your mana. And so there's some downsizes to that as well. I'm not sure if Insider Knowledge is better than Hexcore Foundry. You know, it's a spell for Peddler. You get to play at fast speed. Um, and, you know, it has the immediate effect of the draw to immediate. Um, but, you know, the Foundry could maybe help you out over time more. So I, I don't know. I could see maybe playing like one or two Foundries and one or two Insider insider Knowledge. Um, you know, I wouldn't mind another Ravenous Flock. I wouldn't mind Mystic Shots. But to put in cards, you have to take out cards. And I don't have, like, great ideas of, like, cards to take out. I was very impressed with the Piltover Peacemakers, honestly. I was I was impressed with those. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it, though, for Caitlin Ezreal Cat. So, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments. If you got ideas for improving the deck, of course, let us know. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed having all those Battle Academia champs together. I, I did. I thought, I thought it was a fun deck to play and a cool deck design and the champions with those skins worked well together. All right, but that's going to be it for Caitlin Ezreal Cat. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.